Hello viewers, I have been discussing previous year question papers for the help of our UGC NET aspirant students and in that attempt I have already made seven videos. Apart from regular videos, I have also uploaded uh, three revision videos for your assistance so today we have reached at eight video so without any delay let's begin our discussion before the discussion as you as usual i would like to reiterate one thing and that is since english is my fifth language you may feel that my pronunciation is not up to the mark or it is not clear and i am extremely sorry for that i have been leaving no stone unturned to do my best for the said thing and one more thing these all these all previous year question papers these are only meant for uh, little insights Whatever you have watched in through my videos, similar questions you cannot expect. But through your, uh, through your intelligent intelligence, through your understanding, through your comprehension, through your capability to connecting the dots, you have to solve a, an uh, MCQ question correct okay so that thing you must keep in mind that's all uh, these are the things i often tell now let's begin our uh, discussion so this question paper it is a previous year question paper related to 2000 one net zoom exam okay we all know uh, net exam is held twice one uh, cycle is in june and other cycle is in uh, december so this is re related to zoom wait So the first question of the video is a research paper is a brief report of research work based on what a research paper is a brief report of research work based on what primary data only secondary data only both primary and secondary data none of the above a research paper is a brief report of research work based on correct answer will be C both primary and secondary data okay without these two uh, primary and secondary data a research work cannot be uh, progressed okay second question Newton you must have heard Newton gave three basic laws of motion this research is categorized as what descriptive research sample survey fundamental research applied research let me repeat the question newton gave three basic laws of motion this research is categorized as descriptive re research sample survey fundamental research applied research correct a answer will be Newton gave three basic laws of motion. This research is categorized as fundamental research. Okay. Number three, a group of experts in a specific area uh, of knowledge assembled at a place and prepared a syllabus for a new course. The process may be termed as seminar, workshop, conference, symposium. What do you say? A group of experts in a specific area of knowledge assembled at a place and prepared a syllabus for a new course. The process may be termed as D-Symposium. 
here uh, I would like to add that do not uh, forget to stick to syllabus okay you first learn try to go through deep whatever you you have read and study it according to syllabus okay without that it will be it will be kind of difficult path for you therefore first try to comprehend the syllabus then try to solve the previous year question paper and then it will be pretty easy for you number four number four says in the process of conducting research formulation of hypothesis is followed by what so in research hypothesis is must especially uh, in field based research and so it, it is followed by what statement of objectives analysis of data selection of research tools collection of data correct answer will be in the process of conducting research formulation of hypothesis is followed by collection of data without collection of data you cannot uh, progress or develop or grow in research number five five we have to read a passage i will read it for you read the following passage carefully and answer questions five to ten all historians are interpreters of texts if they be private letters government records or paris birth list or whatever for most kinds of historians these are only the necessary means to understanding something other than the text themselves such as a political action or a historical trend whereas for the intellectual historian a full understanding of his chosen text uh, is itself the aim of his enquiries of course the intellectual history is particularly prone to draw on the focus of other disciplines that are habitually interpreting texts for purposes of their own probing the reasoning that ostensibly connects premises and conclusions furthermore the boundaries with adjacent sub uh, sub disciplines are shifting and indistinct the history of art and history of science both claim a certain autonomy partly just because they require specialized technical skills but both can also be seen as part of a wider intellectual history as is evident when one considers for example the common stock of knowledge about cosmological beliefs or moral ideals of a period like all historians the intellectual historian is a consumer rather than a producer of methods his distinctiveness lies in which aspects of the past he is trying to illuminate not in having exclusive possession of either a corpus of evidence or a body of techniques that being said it does seem that the label intellectual history attracts a disproportionate share of misunderstanding it is alleged that intellectual history is the history of something that never really mattered the long dominance of the historical profession by political historians bred a kind of uh, philistinism philistinism an unspoken belief that power and its exercise was what mattered the prejudice was reinforced by the assertion that political action was ne never really the outcome of principles or ideas that were more flat poodle the legacy of this precept is still discernible in the tendency to require ideas to have license and political class before they can be or uh, they can be doomed worthy of intellectual attention as if there were some reasons why the history of art or science or philosophy or literature were somehow of interest and significance than the history of parties or parliaments 
perhaps in re uh, recent years of the mirror image of this uh, philistinism has been more common in in the claim that ideas of anyone is of systematic expression or sophistication do not matter as if they were only held by a minority i have read the entire passage and now we have to uh, solve the question from number 5 to num number 10 if you would like to uh, reread it then uh, you have to press the backward button of the video of youtube then you you will uh, then you can do it number 5 question it has asked us an intellectual historian historian an intellectual historian aims to fully understand what the chosen text of his own political actions, historical trends, his inquiries. Number five, the question, the question's answer will be, an intellectual historian, historian aims to fully understand the chosen text of his own, the chosen text of his own. Similarly, the next question we have got, Number six, it says, intellectual historians do not claim exclusive possession of what? Conclusions, any corpus of evidence, distinctiveness, habitual interpretation. Before my answer, you can pause the video and try to select any one option from the four options. So, a uh, correct option will be habitual interpretation. Habitual interpretation is uh, an uh, exclusive element, okay, which is not uh, claimed by intellectual historians. Okay, let me mark it. Done. Number seven. The misconceptions about intellectual history stem from a boy of sorry a body of techniques, the common stock of knowledge, the dominance of political historians, cosmological beliefs. Correct answer will be cosmological beliefs. The misconceptions about intellectual history stem from cosmological beliefs. So I often. Uh, repeat the same thing related to uh, comprehension and question answer so here in this comprehension question you don't have to use your uh, brain okay whatever you have read in the given passage uh, under that understanding you have to solve the question okay do not go beyond the passes number eight the question is asking what is philistinism reinforcement of uh, prejudice fabrication of regions the hold of land owning classes belief that power and its exercise matter philistinism so the correct answer will be philistinism means a, a belief that power and its exercise it matters finish okay next question knowledge of cosmological beliefs or moral ideas of a period can be drawn as part of what knowledge of cosmological beliefs or moral ideas of a period can be drawn as part of literary criticism history of science history of philosophy intellectual history so correct answer will be knowledge of cosmological beliefs or moral ideas of a period can be drawn as part of intellectual history number 10 the claim that ideas of anyone uh, is of systematic expression do not matter as if they were held by a minority the claim that ideas of anyone is of systematic expression do not matter 
as if they were held by a minority is what to have a licensed political class a political action a philosophy of literature the mirror image of philistinism correct answer is the mirror image of philistinism this is the claim that uh, ideas of any one is of systematic expression it it do not uh, it doesn't matter as if they were held by them by a minority okay now we will move on to our next question number 11 number 11 uh, it says public communication tends to occur within a more before moving on uh, let me uh, say one thing that i often do that is uh, i have done my best to give you the correct answer from my research but still it may happen that i might have told you uh, a, a wrong option or a wrong answer as a correct answer it may happen so that's why it's a better thing to double check or verify by yourself now let's resume public communication tends to occur within a more complex structure political structure convenient structure formal structure 11 correct answer will be public communication tends to occur within a more c convenient structure convenient structure it is correct number 12 transforming thoughts ideas and messages into verbal and non-verbal signs is referred to as what uh, channelization mediation encoding decoding transforming thoughts ideas and messages into verbal and non-verbal signs is referred to as channelization med mediation encoding decoding 12 correct answer will be channelization number 13 effective communi communication needs a supportive effective communication needs a support a supportive what economic environment political environment social environment multicultural environment number 13 correct answer will be c social environment okay this option effective communication needs a supportive social environment number 14 a major uh, barrier in the transmission of cognitive data cognitive uh, cognitive this word is related to brain so uh, cognitive data in the process of communication is an individual's personality expectation social status coding ability correct answer will be a major barrier in the transmission of cognitive data in the process of communication is an individual's coding ab ability number 15 when communicated institutionalized stereotypes become when communicated institutionalized stereotypes become myths regions experiences convictions so the correct answer of this question it will be c experiences number 16 uh, in mass communication selective perception is dependent on the receivers in mass communication selective perception is dependent on the rece receivers competence predisposition receptivity ethnicity uh, correct answer will be in mass communication selective perception is dependent on the receivers receptivity number 17 it says determine the relationship between the pair of words n u m e r a t o r numerator okay numerator then uh, colon mark denominator denominator d e n o m i n a t o r n then select the pair of words from the following which have a similar relationship so just like this we have now find the similar relationship words 
fraction, decimal, divisor, quotient, top, bottom, dividend, divisor. Correct answer of this question, it will be dividend, divisor or divisor. Dividend, divisor. Got it? Number 18. It is related to uh, mathematical ability or numerical ability. Find the wrong number in the sequence. We have to find the wrong number in the sequence. 125, 127, 130, 135, 142, 153, 165. So what is the correct option? 130, 142, 153, 165. The correct answer will be D, 165. Okay, this is the wrong number in the sequence, but till 153 all were okay. 19, number 19, if hobby, H-O-B-B-Y is coded as I-O-B-Y and L-O-B-B-Y, lobby is coded as Moby, M-O-B-Y, then Bobby, B-O-B-B-Y is coded as what? Uh, these kind of questions are called reasoning ability okay you have to use your reasoning power to solve this kind of question pretty easy if you know how to solve it so the correct answer of 19 will be number b that is uh, bobby will be kobe c-o-b-y kobe 19 done okay Twenty. 20 says the letters in, in the first set have certain relationship on the basis of the relationship make the right choice for the second set. The letters in the first set have certain relationship on the basis of this relationship make the right choice for the second set. K slash T colon may not be colon it may be related to my mathematical mark. Uh, then 11 slash 20 and then uh, this may be proportionate mark uh, then j oblique r colon question mark what 10 options are 10 slash uh, 8 or we can say 10 by 18 11 by 19 10, uh, 10 by 19 correct answer will be 10 by 18 got it number 21 it says if a equal 5 then b equal 6 c equal 7 d equal 8 and so on what do the following numbers stand for 17 19 20 9 8 a equal 5, B equal 6, 7 equal 7, uh, sorry, C equal 7, D equal 8, and so on. What do the following numbers stand for? 17, 19, 20, 9, 8, plan, mopped, motor, tonga. 29, correct answer will be, it will be 29, uh, wait, wait, 21, it is B, mopped, M-O-P-E-D, mop is the correct answer. Number 22, it says the price of oil is increased by 25%. If the expenditure is not allowed to increase, the ratio between the reduction in consumption and the original consumption is what? 1 ratio 3 maybe or 1 colon 3, 1 colon 4, 1 ratio 5, 1 ratio 6. What do you think? This kind of question you have to do, uh, you have to solve it through your practice, okay? Then only it will be easy for you. So, correct answer is C, 1 ratio 5. How? How I cannot tell you. Uh, here I will not show you because I have collect this answer from various sources. I cannot show here through this video. And it will also take time so try to do it by yourself because in the exam uh, if you do it by yourself now then in exam it will be quite beneficial for you uh, 23 how many 
its are there in the following sequence which are preceded by five but not immediately followed by three okay uh, let me repeat it how many eights are there in the following sequence which are preceded by five but not immediately followed by three five eight three seven five eight six three eight five four five eight four four, uh, four seven six five five eight three five eight seven five eight two eight five so this you you have to solve uh, through your pen and paper without this it will be little difficult okay let me tell you the correct answer correct answer of this question it will be four four is the correct answer number 24 if a rectangle were called a circle please be careful while reading this kind of question this kind these kinds of questions are often uh, confusing okay so if a rectangle were called a circle a circle a point a point a triangle and a triangle a square the shape of a wheel is what Re rectangle circle point triangle correct answer is c point p o i n t point number 25 which of the following methods is best suited for mapping the distribution of different crops as provided in the standard classification of crops in india let me reiterate it for you which one of the following methods is best suited for mapping the distribution of different crops as provided in the standard classification of crops in india pie diagram then uh, very hard to pronounce but still i will try uh, pardon for my pronunciation uh, Chorochromatic, chorochromatic technique, uh, and then isoplast technique, dot method. So, what will be the car correct answer? Correct answer of twenty-five. It will be B. Chorochromatic technique. This is the correct answer. Moving on number 26 which one of the following does not come under the methods of data classification which one of the following does not come under the methods of data classification qualitative normative spatial quantitative what do you say 26 correct answer will be spatial c so this it does not come under the methods of data classification 27 which one of the following is not a source of data which one of the following is not a source of data administrative records population census gis sample survey 27 correct answer of 27 it will be administrative records If the statement uh, some men are cruel uh, is false, if the statement some men are cruel is false, which one of the following statements statement are, are is true? All men are cruel, no men are cruel, some men are not cruel, one and three, one and two, two and three, three only. Hmm. So 28 correct answer it will be D only 3 is correct some men are not cruel or cruel the rest are not okay 29 the octal number system consists of the following symbols 0 to 7 0 to 9 0 to 9 comma a to 2 or dash f none of the above what do you say 29 correct answer of 29 it will be 0 to 7 0 to 7 or 0, 0 to 7 number 30 the binary equivalent of uh, in the bracket minus maybe minus it is maybe dash 19 then uh, below the right bracket uh, 10 is written in signed magnitude system is what Triple one zero one one double zero triple one zero double one zero one one hundred one hundred one one none of these correct answer of this question will be none of this not none of this is the correct answer all, all are wrong 
थर्टी वन थर्टी वन सीज डी एन एस डी एन एस इन इंटरनेट टेक्नोलॉजी स्टैंड फॉर वार डायनेमिक नेम सिस्टम डोमेन नेम सिस्टम डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड नेम सिस्टम नन ऑफ दिस थर्टी वन करेक्ट एंसर ऑफ थर्टी वन इट विल बी डी एन एस इन इंटरनेट टेक्नोलॉजी स्टैंड फॉर स्टैंड फॉर बी डोमेन नेम सिस्टम थर्टी टू एच टी एम एल स्टैंड फॉर वाट यू मास्ट हेव सीन इट इन मोबाइल ऑल्सो इट इज ऑफ एन विजिबल इन कम्प्यूटर लैपटॉप इट इज अवेलेबल सो नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ दिस वर्ड हाइपर टैक्स मार्कअप लैंगुएज हाइपर टैक्स मैनिपुलेसन लैंगुएज हाइपर टैक्स मैनेजिंग लिंक्स हाइपर टैक्स मैनिपुलेटिंग लिंक्स थर्टी टू करेक्ट एंसर ऑफ थर्टी टू विल बी इट इट विल बी ए एच टी एम एल मीन्स हाइपर टैक्स मार्कअप लैंगुएज सो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट सम क्वेश्चन एज पार दिलेबस रिलेटेड टू कम्प्यूटर इनफर्मेशन एंड सैंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी थर्टी थ्री विच ऑफ द फलोइंग इज टाइप ऑफ लैंड एल एन विच ऑफ द फलोइंग इज टाइप ऑफ लैंड इथरनेट इ टी एच इ आर एन इ टी टक एंड रिंग एफ डी टी आई अल अफ द एब थार्टी थ्री कारेक्ट एनसार उल बी उच अफ द फलोइंग इज टाइप अफ लैंड इथरनेट इज ए टाइप अफ लैंड इट इज अल्सो रिलेटेड टू कम्प्यूटर एंड इंटरनेट सो ट्राई ट्राई टू नो एबाउट इट थ्रू योर गुगल सार्च और वाट एवर यू उड लाइक टू डू Thirty four. Which one? Which of the following statements is true? Which of the following statements is true? Smart cards do not require an operating system. Smart cards and PCs use some operating system. COS is smart card operating system. The communication between reader and card is is in full duplex mode. Thirty four. Correct answer will be. Uh, Only B is correct. That is, smart cards and PCs use some operating system. Thirty-five says the Ganga Action Plan was initiated during the year. It is related to environment and ecology, as per the syllabus. Check it out. So the Ganga Action Plan was initiated during the year nineteen eighty-six, nineteen eighty-eight, nineteen ninety, nineteen ninety-two. Thirty-five correct answer will be A. In nineteen eighty-six, the, the Ganga Action Plan was initiated. Thirty-six. Identify the correct sequence of energy sources in order of their share in the power sector in India. Identify the correct sequence of energy sources in uh, in order of their share in the power sector in India. Thermal, nuclear, hydro, wind. Thermal, hydro, nu nu nuclear, wind. Hydro nuclear thermal wind, nuclear hydro wind thermal. Okay. Now, what is the correct answer? Correct answer of thirty six. It will be uh, thermal hydro nuclear wind. Thermal hydro nuclear wind. Okay. Thirty seven. Chromium is a contaminant in drinking water. In excess of permissible levels, causes what? Chromium as a contaminant in drinking water in excess of permissible levels causes what? Skeletal damage, gastrointestinal problem, dermal and nervous problems, liver kidney problems. Thirty seven. So, uh, chrom chromium. As a contaminant in drinking water in excess of permissible levels causes dermal and mar nervous problem. Thirty eight. The main precursors of winter smog. The main precursors of winter smog are N T uh, N two O maybe nit nitrogen oxide maybe since I am not not a student of science I have a little doubt. Verify it. N two O and hydrocarbons, N O X and hydrocarbons, S O two and hydrocarbons, S O two and ozone. Thirty eight. Correct answer of thirty eight. It will be 
N O X and hydrocarbons. Likewise, thirty nine flash floods. Flash floods are caused when the atmosphere is convectively unstable and there is considerable vertical wind shear. The atmosphere is stable. The atmosphere is convectively unstable with no vertical wind shear. Winds are catabatic. Thirty nine. Correct answer is uh, uh, flash floods are caused when the atmosphere uh, is convectively unstable and there is considerable vertical wind shear. Number forty. Forty says in mega cities of India, the dominant source of air pollution is what? Transport sector, thermal power, municipal waste, commercial sector. In mega cities of India, the dominant source of air pollution is what? Of the following. So the correct answer is municipal waste. You must have seen uh, tons and tons of municipal waste are dumped. Uh, around the city around the town you must have seen and very dirty smell will come out from that place that's us we are human being we do not care about environment unfortunately okay 41 the first open university in india was set up in the state of the first open university in India was set up in the state of Andhra Pradesh, Delhi, Himachal Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. Correct answer is A. Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh. 42. Most of the universities in India are funded by what? Most of the universities in India are funded by the central government, the state government, the university grants commission, private bodies and individual. 42. Correct answer is C. The university grants commission. And students are two. They are two. Funded by UGC. Through various scholarships uh, and fellowship like that and so on. 43. Which of the following organizations looks after the quality of technical and management education in India? Which of the following organizations look after the quality of technical and management education in India? NCTE, MCI, AICTE, CSIR. 43. Correct answer of 43. It will be C. AICTE. It looks after the uh, organization that uh, uh, that is related to technical and management education 44 consider the following statements identify the statements which implies natural justice the principle of natural justice is followed by the courts justice delayed is justice denied natural justice is an inalienable right of a citizen a reasonable opportunity of being heard must be given so what do you say what do you say 44 correct answer will be uh, identify the statement which implies natural justice it will be c natural justice is an inalienable right of a citizen got it very good very good Okay, let's move on. Moving on, we have got the president, 45. The president of India is what? The head of state, the head, head, uh, head of government, both head of the state and the head of the government, none of the above. Correct answer is both head of the state and head of the government. Only in the name. It's just nominal. In reality, in pragmatic framework, the prime minister has more power than any other. 46. Who among the following holds office during the pleasure, pleasure of the President of India? Who among the following holds office during the pleasure of the President of India? Chief Election Commissioner, Comput, Com, Comptroller and Auditor General of India, Chairman of the Union Public Service Com Commission, Governor of a State. 
very interesting question for his six correct answer will be who among the following holds office during the pleasure of the president of india it is governor of a state got it pleasure pleasure means uh itsa paryant in hindi then governor governor of a state will come okay now we have got questions it is for visually handicapped candidate we we will not try to solve it then let's move moving on moving on moving on wait uh 47 to 49 right number 50 to 52 what was the last question of us 46 is the last question that means we have to start it from 47 right 47 47 47 oh sorry 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 uh, it says not for visually handicapped candidates it's not for visually handicapped candidates okay those who are those who are called dibyang so questions 47 to 49 these are based upon the following diagram in which there are three interlocking circles a p and s where s stands for artists circle p for professors and circle s for sport persons different regions in the figure are lettered from a to f so this is the diagram take a look at take a look at it three circles are given then uh, a p s like this all are given you just take a look now after looking at it we have to now find the answer 47 okay 47 47 uh, it says um, the reason which represents artists who are neither sportsmen nor professors it will be e that is b option b is the correct answer number 48 it says the reason which represents professors who are both artists and sport persons 48 it will be a that so the option will be a2 hmm. 49 the reason which represents professors who are also sport persons but not artists 49 it will be c e f c g so c c both are c next question uh, so we here we have got a different question it says questions 50 to 52 are based on the following data measurement of some variable variable x were made at an interval of one minute from 10 am to 10 20 am the data thus obtained is as follows okay read it twice measurement of some variable x were made at an interval of one minute from 10 am to 10 20 am the data does obtain is as follows x 60 62 65 64 63 61 66 65 70 68 63 62 64 69 65 64 66 67 66 66 64 okay now we have to find out the value of x which is exceeded 10 percent of the time in the duration of measurement is what 69 68 67 66 50 correct answer will be it will be 68 68 that is b the value of x will be 68 which is exceeded 10 percent of the time in the duration of me measurement 52 says the value of x which is exceeded 90 percent of the time in the duration of measurement is 63 62 61 60 so it will be uh, 61 okay the value of x which is exceeded 90 percent of, of the time in the duration of measurement is uh, wait 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 i have forgot oh yes uh it will be 51 c c c is the correct answer that there is 61 hmm. 52 the value of x which is exceeded 50 percent of the time in the duration of measurement is what 66 65 64 63 52 correct answer will be 65 
this is for visually hand handicapped candidates only this we will not study read let us move on now we have after yes after moving on we have got 53 number question it says for maintaining an effective discipline in the class related to teaching aptitude for maintaining an effective discipline in the class the teacher should what allow students to do what they like deal with the students strictly give the students some problems to solve deal with them politely and firmly what do you say practically if i say practically then uh, you have to deal with them strictly but we cannot do that and there is not an effective discipline also if we go to that way so avoid that way i am just telling that my own opinion but that opinion it's wrong so 53 uh, correct answer will be deal with them politely and firmly you have to show your politeness to them okay 54 an effective teaching aid is one an effective teaching aid is one which is colorful and good looking ac activates all fa uh, faculties is visible to all students easy to prepare and use 54 it will be b activates all faculties this is an effective uh, teaching aid 55 those students are popular among students who develop intimacy with them help them solve their problems award good grades uh, take classes on extra tuition fee 55 correct answer will be those teachers are popular sorry uh, have i said students sorry for that if i have said those teachers are popular among students who develop intimacy with them help them solve their problems award good grades take classes on extra tuition fee 55 correct answer of 55 it will be b that is help them solve their problem you, you should do it if you will become a teacher 56 the essence of an effective classroom environment is what the essence of an effective classroom environment is what a variety of teaching aids lively student teacher interaction pin drop silence strict discipline 56 correct answer will be the essence of an effective classroom environment is b lively student teacher interaction it must be there okay the classroom must not be authoritative the essence of an effective classroom environment is lively student teacher interaction 57 on the first day of his class if a teacher is asked by the students to introduce himself on the first day of his class if a teacher is asked by the students to introduce himself he should do what normally it never happens but maybe in some um, extraordinary predicament or state of affairs it may happen ask them to meet after the class tell them about himself in brief ignore the demand and start teaching call the student for this unwanted demand 57 so the correct answer is tell them ab about himself in brief so you have to tell them who you are if they ask you in brief okay in brief in succinct 58 moral values can be effectively inculcated moral values can be effectively inculcated among the students when the teacher frequently talks about values himself practices them tells stories of great persons talks of god and goddesses 58 so moral values can be effectively inculcated among the students when the teacher tells stories of great persons hmm? will it be no himself practices them so if if the teacher is not practicing any kind of moral values then he or she means that specific teacher will not able to inculcate the same moral values among the students okay so the b correct b option will be correct himself practices them 59 the essential qualities of a research researcher the essential qualities of a researcher are what spread of free inquiry reliance on observation and evidence systematization or theorizing of knowledge all the above 59 
correct answer is all are correct means the d will be correct all of the above speed of free inquiry it is also relevant reliance on observation and evidence it is also significant systematization or theorizing of knowledge it is also needed last question number 60 research is conducted to what one gen generate new knowledge two not to develop a theory three obtain research degree four reinterpret existing knowledge which of the above are correct one three and two three two and four two one and three one three and four what do you say research is conducted to 60 research is conducted to d that is one three and four generate new knowledge okay generate new knowledge then uh, obtain research degree then uh, sorry one three yes obtain research degree and reinterpret existing knowledge so not to develop a theory it is wrong it's wrong that's all uh, space for the rough work we have finished the entire question i hope it will be beneficial for you and please try to uh, solve uh, so many questions from pre previous years as well as if you can if you can then appear in mock tests it will definitely help you to guess the correct answer or it will uh, definitely help you in guessing the correct answer though you don't know the answer sometimes it works not all the time but if you practice a lot then definitely you can solve a que question in a second mathematical question re reasoning ability question okay these kinds of questions thank you so much bye bye